Hey, hello everybody, it's me, Paula Rashani, here again with another video. Today's self-care day Tuesday because I felt like I needed to record this video because I needed this self-care day because, child, I had the worst day yesterday, Monday. I came to realize that these YouTube streets are the worst place because, well, in the other way of communicating, okay? Because, like, people are free to say whatever they want to people. They feel like they could disrespect you because they cannot face you physically to, you know, to prove their point or whatever, to run your mouth or whatever. So yesterday, I experienced that. But I thank God that he gave me the grace not to, you know, not to let anger have me sin. Okay. So because the Bible says, in your anger, do not sin. And don't go, don't let the sun go down with your anger because you're going to let the devil have a place in you. So I did not let that happen. So guys, please watch the video till the end while I rant what happened. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I did work out with Caroline Gavan on YouTube. Today we did an upper body workout and she has so many videos to choose from. She has uh, workout plans. She has food choices anything that you want she has it i love her workouts to the t guys so now i'm gonna take my protein powder or shake yes because that workout though it was 20 minutes it was a hard 20 minutes because i pushed myself to the limit yes so i'm gonna be having my protein shake my protein powder from orgain protein okay and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like so and i'm gonna mix that with my collagen peptide and have that for my breakfast before breakfast
working out and I just had my protein drink and my collagen peptide because yeah that's what I have every morning I have my collagen peptide I haven't had my protein my protein powder for a while now it's been weeks and weeks that I haven't had any but today I decided to um to revisit you know because today I did an upper body workout it was only like 20 minutes because I wanted to record this video because this video is very very crucial now today is self-care day self-care morning actually because like yesterday I just had it yesterday Chat, let me tell you guys, okay, all of my subscribers, I thank you guys for being so open, for being so uh, nice, just having lovely comments, you guys, I can see you guys are genuine, but let me tell you guys, yesterday, I was like, I was, I was, I, I had a bad day yesterday, I did not watch my favorite YouTubers yesterday, like, I did not even watch Mariam's video, because she always posts every noon, Californian time is probably like maybe eight o'clock. I'm not sure. I, yeah, but I didn't watch Sharon's video. I didn't watch uh, Jessica. I mean, like so many people. I didn't even watch because okay, because um, I think two days or a few days ago, like actually ten days ago, there's a person that I watched here on YouTube. Okay, she's a Kenya YouTuber. Her name is Felicity. She wrote here on YouTube. Okay. So I watch, I, I like her videos, okay? Because, you know, um, as many of y'all know, I was born in Kenya, okay? But I was not, I was raised, I was raised there for like nine years. Came to the U.S., so we came over here. So I've been here since. And so, like, when I watch, I love watching people from, like, Kenya, from Africa, because, like, I just want to see place where I want to see the motherland. Like, I want to see, you know, what's going on over there because... I was born there, you know, I'm black. I mean, where are my ancestors from? from Africa, right? So like, so I was, I watched this lady's video cause she did like, she did a video with another, her friend about like college and all that stuff, you know? And I was, I watched that video. It was so interesting to me because like, I realized like schools over there are different from over here. And I commented, you know, and you know, I was, you know, do some, do more of these videos. Cause some of you, yeah, you never know, like people from here are watching, you know? Like, and I was like, you know what, there were some people that are so narrow-minded, like, so narrow-minded. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I really don't know what to say. Like, it's like, they're not educated. Like, I don't understand. Like, so I commented, I was like, you know, I love this video. Like, I learned so much, like, differences between, oh, like, Kenya and, and the U.S. Because I live in the U.S. I mean, people are so jealous of people that are living in the U.S., like, why are you so jealous? Like, why are you so envious? Did I choose to come here? No, I did not. God chose us to be here. So, we are here. Like, don't envious other people because they live in the U.S. The U.S. is not all that. Okay? It's hard over here. Okay? It's not that easy. Okay? You need God to live with you. As a matter of fact, here is, is more danger. Okay? It's more... I'm speaking from a Christian perspective. I'm not speaking of the worldly perspective if you're a christian like a real born again hardcore here is hard because there is a lot of temptation over here okay there is a lot of temptation a lot a lot a lot okay now back to the video so i commented and like 10 days later there's this lady i don't know whatever her name is i'm not going to mention her name here because it's not worth it to mention her name here she was like she because i can read swahili i can read swahili but I can't speak it. It's hard for me to speak Swahili because, <laughs> okay, I came when I was nine years old. Okay, so like we, we were we were not forced, but we were encouraged to speak English by our parents. You understand? We were encouraged to speak English, so we spoke English, and Swahili kind of just disappeared from our tongues. But I understand Swahili completely, but I just can't speak it. So. This lady, out of nowhere, she says, oh, you know, you're just pretending, you know, that you can't speak Swahili or that like, you ain't never step a foot on Kenya. Oh, I, you know, this kind of people, you know, you, oh, uh, you just boasting, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't, I just don't, I, I'm, I'm not, and she was, I'm not, I'm not jealous. I'm just trying, I don't like this kind of behavior or something like that. And I was, so I read that comment and I, I was angry at first. No, I was not angry. I was like, my heart was beating so fast because I'm like, wait a minute, you don't even know me. You don't even know me, child. You don't know me. You understand? You just see me on the internet. You just see me. What I post, I, you see it. But you don't know me. You understand? And you don't want to know me. Okay? 
So I don't want to be your friend and I don't want to be your enemy either. You just like a piece of dust. So like the Bible says, we're dust here today and gone tomorrow. So, so I was, so I was like, uh, so I told her and I was like, you know, I was like, you just jealous. And if you keep being jealous of people, you all going to live a miserable life forever. Okay, because that's the truth. If you're jealous of other people, you want to live a you just want to live a miserable life because jealousy is a spirit. It's going to eat you up till the end of your life. It's going to eat you up down and it's going to eat you up slowly because if you can't be happy for other people. So anyways, so we went back and forth trying to talk, trying to talk. be I was nice and I was I was very intellectual, you know? I was very nice, diplomatic. And she's over here just spitting hate stuff. And I was like, girl, I'm a Christian. I don't, I'm not here to live a few. Like, you're living a fake life. And I was like, you don't even know me. Like, do I was like, do you know me? And she's like, oh, it's just a small world. You never know. I might be your neighbor. But when I watch her videos, all her videos is not even anywhere near the United States of America. I came to my husband. I was like, look, this Look, 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 look what I found on the internet. So he was like, let's go to her profile. We went to her profile, went to her YouTube videos, and everything is far away. None of them houses look over here. None of them houses look like how the U.S. houses look like. None of them. None of them look like anywhere in the U.S. So I was like, you know what? I was like, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, I know what to do. I just hand her over to God. That's the only thing that I can do because I am, I'm a Christian. I have to represent God, you understand? I have to represent who lives inside of me. So I was like, you know what, Lord, I don't have time for this, but you have all time in the world to deal with her. I ain't gonna deal with her. Matter of fact, I deleted all my comments because the Bible says if you argue with a fool, you're gonna end up looking like one. So I just deleted all my comments, deleted everything. And you know, it's just so weird how when you meet, I mean, I understand when you put yourself out here on YouTube, you're like, you're risking a lot. And it's a good thing that I haven't had any weird people coming over. I have had a couple of people like comment on my older videos, but it was not something like I got. I just I just read the I just read the comment. I was like, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it there or delete it. You understand? But like, if you comment on somebody's, if you see my comment on somebody's video and you go ahead and comment under that video, knowingly that that person cannot, knowingly you know that person. I'm sure that person don't want to delete. I don't know. Cause for me, I would delete that comment if I see such interaction on my under my videos i'm gonna delete all those comments but you know i am not publicity at all she can do whatever she wants because that's her channel but i'm here to tell you guys when you find these kind of people like just take it to god you know take it over to jesus because he knows how to handle these people i was down yesterday so i was so upset i was like oh my goodness i don't understand what is wrong with these people in this world like i just don't get it people are so hateful people are so jealous and everything but the good thing is you know when you hand over everything to god he handles everything for you you don't have to fight for nobody you don't have to prove anything i was just trying to have a conversation with her but she kept saying all these mean things all oh, you live a fake life i'm like i live a fake do you even know me like i'm not here to have no fame and like i just share my lifestyle hair videos most of you don't that know me i share hair videos i share vlogs here and there i share fitness videos i share lifestyle things talk about jesus i'm just i mean i have people here that are not even christian and they have never said anything negative to my videos or anything that i post or whatever i mean if you don't have, i told her if you don't have anything nice to say you should just get a book and go ahead and read it you know if you don't have anything good to say about somebody, don't comment on that video. Matter of fact, don't even watch it. Because why are you watching something that don't even interest you? Why are you comment? Why are you reading on people's comments and then comment down under their like? It doesn't really. It has no. It don't. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Nothing to do with you. That's how you know people are so narrow-minded. I'm just here to tell you guys. I had the worst day yesterday, but today I'm going to leave it out here. If you guys are having these kind of people. Just block them and because they are just just not nice people they're like a parasite you know parasites you know they just destroy everything that they you know they just destroy everything around their way like you don't need them in your space you don't need them in your eyes and your mind but anyways guys 
I'm done talking. So like, God is good. God is good. You know, God is good. And I just hope you guys have a lovely day. I will catch up on y'all videos. Watch each and every y'all videos when I have the time to do it. But I just want to thank you guys for your support. It means everything to me. Keep on sharing my videos. Keep on commenting. And um, tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. And all that good stuff. And yes, and I'm here to support everyone that supports me. I will support you back because life is too short to be mean to people. Life is too short to be miserable at people. Life is too short to be hating on people. And life is too short to be miserable. We should all treat other people with respect because whatever you put out there is what you get back. The Bible says whatever you sow is what you reap. If you sow hatred, you're going to get back hatred. When you sow love, you're going to get back love. If you sow respect, you're going to get back respect. If you sow loyalty, you're going to get back loyalty. You understand? Like, when you sow, you know, stuff like that. You understand? Like, when you sow gossip, you're going to get back gossip. And the Bible does not lie. That is a Bible principle, y'all. Whatever, whatever you put out there, it's going to come back to you. I'm just saying, if you want to get good stuff, you got to sow in good stuff in people's lives because God is watching and they do say that God don't like ugly. God does not like ugly. And that is why the Bible says that we should not avenge. We should not revenge. We should not uh, pay back evil for evil, but give it to God because he know how to do it better. And, we, and we, all we got to do is forgive them and move on because life is too short to be living miserable. So, <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you, the person that did that, I'm not going to mention your name here because I don't feel the need to mention your name, but if you end up watching this video, I just pray for you and I hand over you to God because he know how to handle you better than I do because I'm human and as much as you need a savior, I need my savior, I need Jesus, you know, I need him every single day of my life. I need him because the Bible says every single day that we are being transformed into the image of Christ. And I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, I'm not trying to be with the Holy Spirit. So, yeah, Felicity Shiro, if you ever watch this video, I just say that you keep on doing what you're doing, girl. You're doing great. I'm going to keep watching your videos and I'm going to comment on those videos that I think are beneficial to me. I mean, are benefit, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, not all video when I not all videos that I watch comment because like like you know something like I comment I may like the video but I might not comment on it because like I just don't have anything to say you know I don't want to say oh nice video like that is too lame you understand but I watch all your videos and your your content is great keep on doing what you're doing and like these negative people just I don't know but yeah. But I hope you have a lovely day and keep shining. Everybody, everybody keep on shining because we are here to shine. Don't let anybody dim your light. Don't let the devil use people to dim your light because that's all he does. We are all instruments and, 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 and you don't want to let the devil use you. You understand? Don't let the devil use you. Let God use you instead. You understand? Yes, point blank. So I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.